Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be working on the Land Ship Mark II and this will be part two. Here we go, I hope you enjoy.
So as you can see right here, they still have that bug where the Kerbal acts like an anchor. I don't, I don't know what kind of programming that is or what's going on, but it's almost like the Kerbal itself is being anchored into the sky or, or something of that nature. It's, it's really weird, like it's being anchored in, in the very space-time continuum. It's a really, really annoying bug. I don't really think it's a feature. I think they were trying to fix something and they kind of broke something in the process of trying to fix it, but it's there and we're just gonna have to deal with it. Now there is one thing that I that I noticed was that the flags are transparent for some reason. Now that could be the simple fact that they are transparent. I, I selected them to be transparent or, or something of that nature. So I downloaded a few different textures that came out really well, but now they're no longer transparent. So I think from, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find more textures and retexture the floor and the runways. Do you see what I mean by the see-through flags uh, that I was using for the runways? It's funny though, it's only see-through from the bottom up. I'm wondering if this is like a one-way window situation. And that gave me an idea. Maybe I can somehow turn these into windows. I can turn flags into windows. I'm not sure how I would, how I would go about doing that, but it's definitely something I want to explore further. It was at this point that I was going for more of a jet engine thrust rather than just having a bunch of wheels on the ground moving back and forth. So that was this was a test of that concept, but to be honest I I'm not liking the way it looks so I'm gonna end up using maybe the large the big large wheels and just having a landing gear here or there to help support the weight also I want this craft to be able to mine for fuel which is what the cargo bays on the back side the back sides are for they'll open up and drills will come out and start drilling however at the moment there is no way for vehicles to get in and out of the craft which is one of the reasons why I opened up the front nose of the of the land ship. I intend to put some sort of elevator right there or maybe a ramp that slides out. I'm not too sure yet. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I don't know, something about something huge blowing up. 
Even the debris that I left behind, the debris trail was pretty neat and how it's upside down now and now the freaking bay floor is now the ceiling and the bay ceiling is now the floor. I could imagine being like some sort of scavenger coming across this huge abandoned wreck and looking for hidden treasures in a world that's full of desert. But anyway, I digress. Well, that's all the time I have for today. You're going to have to look forward to a part three when we finally wrap things up and build all little build the little details little little loose ends to this craft so look forward to that all right everyone i'll see you all tomorrow for the fourth of july i'm going to try to make a apollo cinematic i put a post i put a i put a poll out there so it's either a stream or a cinematic but it's, it's looking like it's going to be a cinematic with all the votes so put in your vote every vote counts but I, if it's going to be a cinematic, I need to start working on it now. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.